Hello my fellow riders and welcome back to Riding Reviews. Today I'm going to teach you how to adjust your clutch. Now on a motorbike there is three different ways that you can adjust your clutch. The first one is very simple and you can do it at the side of the road. The second one re uh, requires a 10mm spanner and the third one requires more tools. On the first one is something that you would do say on the side of the road. The second one is also something that you can potentially do at home. It is just a little bit of an adjustment. The other one is something that usually gets done in a garage but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway. So on a push bike if you've ever had one you'll know what this is. It's an adjuster for your brakes on your push bike but in this case it's used to adjust the clutch. So if you pull in your clutch and it doesn't stop the wheel or you're finding it hard to get into neutral you can adjust this one on the side of the road or at your house or whatever so yeah you should be able to sit there so all you have to do is pull the clutch in pull the ex the cable out with it and you turn the adjuster clockwise and then you test your biting point turn the retainer back and it's as simple as that and that will adjust uh, your clutch. Uh, this is helpful especially if you're checking your bike over um, before a ride and you just want to make a quick adjustment to move your biting point out slightly. This is something that you can do at the side of your road. As you can see it takes you a couple of seconds to do and it's not that much of an issue. But I'm going to remove this because I am going to do it the other way and I want to leave as much... Um, adjustment on the cable for the customer or whoever has the bike so that they can do it at home. The second adjustment I won't actually show you on the bike but I do have a demonstration cable here. So this is pretty much the same thing again this is a clutch cable again you have an adjuster and all this does is extend um, the outer sheath of the cable because it's the inner part that will actually stretch. Again all you do is turn out the 10 mil on the end, turn back the retaining bolt and that just locks it back into place and stops it from vibrating itself loose. This again is something that you can do if you are, if your clutch is adjusted so that it's not stopping the back wheel. If the back wheel is stopped all the time both of these adjustments aren't going to make any difference and you may need a new clutch if that happens but if it's a fairly new bike then you may just have to do a more of adjustment on the bottom and I will show you that now. So I find the easiest way to do this is by starting up the bike, sticking it into first gear. Obviously you can't do this unless the bike has got a center stand. Let the back wheel spin. So you've got to loosen off this 10 mil here because that is a retainer one. Put a little bit of pressure on the back wheel. Turn the screw until the back wheel stops. So as you can see the back wheel has stopped, turn it out half a turn, that's quarter, that's half, then test the clutch. <coughs> And as you can see, so the biting point is now about three quarters of the way out. So now we'll turn the 10 mil back in. Just to make sure, test it one more time. Mm. 
It's in the right place. And that is how you adjust your clutch. Now, uh, reasons for doing this, if you're finding it hard to get into neutral, usually that means that the clutch hasn't got enough bite on it and you need to adjust it that little bit to get it into neutral correctly. Um, also, if you pull in your clutch and your bike just cuts out uh, while you're riding, it usually means that the clutch isn't correctly adjusted again. Usually you can adjust it on, on the cable itself um, and then when you take it in for a service just ask them to adjust it on the engine if you wanted to. You can get this wrong and if you're not experienced on it, um, it's quite hard and quite finicky to do. So, But anyway, you can try. If it works, it works. It's good. So hopefully you've learned something through this tutorial and hopefully... Uh, in the future you will be able to do it yourself so thank you for watching my video if you liked it please stick, hit that thumbs up if you didn't comment below and tell me how i can make my videos better in the future remember i have a video library of over 310 videos um, all motorbike related so you should be able to find something in there that will help you if you want to uh, help me out in the future hit that join button there is a monthly fee and we will be looking at increasing the amount of um, non-release content on there for members only. But as always, ride safe.